Hi everyone, so it's time for another tip of the week. Um, now this week I thought I would talk a little bit about um, importing in Illustrator files because it's come up a little bit on the forums recently. So um, let's just go ahead and do this in Anime Pro, uh, but the same thing would apply whether you're using Anime Pro, Animate, or Harmony. So let's just get a scene file going in here. And um, now, one thing to be aware of when you're importing in Illustrator, Swift, or PDF files is that um, they are not the same as importing an image in. When you import an image, it comes directly into your scene, into your timeline. Uh, now, when you import instead, and when you're importing in a Swift, a PDF, or a um, Illustrator file, what it actually does is it creates a template out of that file. It can't bring it directly into the scene. It's got to bring it instead into your library. So that's why when you go to File, Import, you'll see that it's grayed out here because it says Swift Illustrator Files to Library. It's got to put it in the library. It can't bring it right into the scene directly. So because of that, if we want to import Illustrator Files in, um, then we can do it here in our library. Let me get the right to modify my library, and I'll also create a new folder in here just so that we have one that I can use to, to show this off here. Now, let's maybe even rename this Illustrator Test. Um, and then when you have the library folder selected that you want to import it into, now if you, oops, let me just select that again. Now, if you go to File Import, you'll see it's no longer grayed out because it knows where you want to put it. Um, so that's what you need to do there, or you can also right click in here and select import files. Both of those will work. Now if I want to, um, I can browse to um, an Illustrator file that I have here. I have several that I could try out. Let's just try this one out here. And um, now you'll notice it brings up a template window similar to what you get when you create your own template within the software. And now from here, I can drag and drop that into my scene. And it will give me a color recovery window because it's the first time I'm loading those colors in here. So it will bring it in like so. Now, by default, when you import these Illustrator uh, files into um, Animate, Anime Pro, or Harmony, it brings them in as a flat image. So if you had separated layers, it's going to sort of flatten them all in here you do have the colors maintained so if I check out the colors in my color palette I have an illustrator palette that loads in here and I can adjust those colors so just like you could adjust any regular color in Harmony you can adjust the colors for imported files as well you're not stuck with the colors once you've got them in there um, so but there is a way also to be able to import illustrator files in with layers and um, it was actually brought up on the forums recently and so in case you ever forget where things are then you can go to the forums and um, you know I encourage everyone in here of course to use the forums um, and in here now if we go to the animate forums then there's one for scripts and this is where we can find the import illustrator script and the original script is in that first thread there so if you go in here then it'll show you eventually when we scroll down there's the script I'm looking for so I can select that script there I can get it all selected copy it and then I can go ahead and uh, go back to animate pro and I can load in my script window my manage scripts and then I want to create a new script in here and I can call this import illustrator and now that I've got that in there I can just double click on it to open it and then I can paste the script from the forms in there and now I've got everything in there um, and I can close this window and then if I go to the manage scripts window here I can select the import illustrator one and I can add it to my toolbar so that I can see it on the toolbar and then you'll see it added as a separate button there so now when I run the import illustrator script what it does is, first of all, it wants me to look for something. So I can look for my Illustrator, um, one that I want to do in here. Let's try the magic wand. Let's just try a different one. And then 
what it does is it actually creates um, the template file in the same directory as the original file was located. So what I need to do now is I go to open library and then I can browse for that Illustrator files folder and you see those templates are now loaded in here. So if I choose that directory now I can see that those templates as new templates that I can drag and drop in here. So you know I can select, uh, let's try the magic wand one, see what that's going to do. And um, let's just hide the original pencil one. So now you can see here are the two files that were loaded in. Um, and it did load in the separate, it looks like the line work is separate from the color work and that's the only thing that's separated on those two layers. But you do see the two separated layers there from the original. And you've still got your recovery palette here from Illustrator now with the new colors loaded in there. So if you need to go back and adjust a color on there, then it's going to adjust it in your scene file as well. And it looks like maybe I'm not using that color. So let's choose the red one here. There we go. So, um, I mean, that's the basics of working with Illustrator files. You can either import them in as flat images um, directly into your library or you can use the script, run the script, and then you'll have to open library to find the place where you save your files there. But this is pretty handy to have it in here because then you've got your Illustrator files all laid out in one directory, so it's actually very convenient to have them in the open library section uh, because you don't have to import them separately into each um, file or scene file that you're going to use. So just one last point to uh, mention before we leave the subject of Illustrator files is when you're saving these files out, you need to save them out in the legacy format um, so that it's saved out as one of the older formats because of the fact that some of the newer um, CS file formats are supporting new things that we can't support in this um, version. Uh, so, you know, anything that has complicated effects, blurs, gradients, that sort of thing will not be able to be imported in. So when you're saving it out, save it out as a legacy format and make sure you check the option uh, to make it PDF compatible and um, that should allow you to import those files in here. And if you have any questions or concerns then go ahead and write on the forums and we'll try to get you all sorted out. That's it for this week and we'll see you next week.